Our first experiment is about a psychological phenomenon called priming. Every day we absorb thousands of messages from the world around us, which have a profound subconscious influence on how we behave. This is priming. Psychologists have claimed that these messages can even influence how old we feel. Michael wants to investigate this claim and has asked UCL psychologist Daniel Richardson to restage a famous experiment in priming. Morning. They'll be asking a group of students to complete a word puzzle game. Their job is to flip these over, they're just like big fridge magnets, and make a sentence from those. Key to the experiment is that there's something hidden in all of these words that will hopefully activate their concept of old people. Michael wants to test if simply exposing the volunteers to words associated with the elderly, such as wise and alone, actually make them behave as if they're old themselves. And then they think the experiment is over. We say, go off, you've got to sign one more form. But actually, that's when the experiment begins from our perspective, yeah. because they leave this door and then we time how long it takes them to walk down that corridor. And our hope is because your stereotype of old people is that they're slower and doddery and frail, and you yourself will act slightly more like an old person. The volunteers will be tracked over a distance of 20 meters with invisible lasers, allowing the team to pinpoint precise differences in their walking speed before and after the test. Okay, I think we're ready to go. This is gonna be marvelous. Okay, could we have Edith, please? This is the testing room, do come in. So, begin whenever you're ready. But will these elderly sounding words have any effect? The first volunteer isn't quite influenced the way the team were expecting. She seems to bound up the stairs. No real difference between going out and going in. Luckily, there are more volunteers lined up. OK, Michael, if you can take a seat in the chair in the middle of the room, please. And soon, an interesting trend starts to appear. How was that? He was um, just ever so slightly slower. Oh. This volunteer walked along the corridor 10% slower after the test. So, as you know, this is a test of your language proficiency. It took this volunteer 20% longer to walk out. It really does make you think the extent to which your approach to older people and how you see them is this unconscious is right. to being projected. Yeah, and of course, old people experience this. So when you walk into the room and you meet someone who's elderly and you start thinking about them, you will slow down a little bit. So their experience will be of people slowing down whenever they meet them. Right. So your behavior feeds back to them as well. So as you know, this is a very simple test of language proficiency. But to really test their theory that we're influenced by the words we use, Michael and Daniel now want to investigate if there's an opposite effect for youthful sounding words. Will these volunteers be racing down the corridor after their tests? Yep, he went in perky, he came out perky. This volunteer walked out 10% faster than when they walked in. Pretty fast going in and he's even faster going out. The final volunteer's walking speed increased by 15% compared to her entrance. She did a little sprint as she came down the corridor at the end. It's so unlikely that basically a few words planted here and there could actually influence how you think about people. Hello, thanks for coming back. If you want to... The experiment seems to prove that just a few words can have a direct influence on how we behave. So we told you you'd be taking part in an experiment on language uh, proficiency, and that was slightly true, but not entirely true. We were actually measuring the speed at which you came into the room, and then the speed at which you went back down the corridor. The reason was, when you did this test, we primed you. We basically fed words associated very much with old age. Now, you were two seconds slower going back, and you were sort of trudging it <laughs> slowly and carefully. And you came in looking as though, you know, you were off to play a football match. When you went out again, you had the bag in your hand. It was like you were really, really tired. Were you aware of any of that? Not really. You two got primed for youth. So both of you came in quite fast, and you left very fast. <laughs> you came in relatively slowly and then you shot up the stairs. You took them almost on a single bound. You were out of the room. It was very impressive, I must admit. 
So thank you very, very much. And I'm sorry if we had to not tell you the whole truth, but it was a really interesting experiment. Hope you enjoyed it. Are they leaving faster or slower? <laughs> <laughs> they look just disappointed. <laughs>